This neighborhood did not consent to a communist police state. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Mark Bradshaw. One community leader in South Tulsa is pushing back against a new policing tool. Tulsa police installed $50,000 worth of live streaming cameras around 61st and Peoria. They believe will help discourage crime. News Channel's Daniel Abaro learned police say these cameras will help in high crime areas. It's a story you'll see only on News Channel 8. Daniela. Well, Mark, Tulsa police says the cameras help officers know what's going on before even getting to a crime scene. A community leader who lives in the neighborhood tells me there's no proof the cameras will help make people feel safer. It's quiet at Johnson Park. The only sound is the hum of cars driving by they do. and us talking with Tulsa police captain Jacob Johnston. Like right now as we're talking, that camera's capturing this conversation. These cameras are just some of the 22 Johnston says are scattered around Hope Valley. When we started this initiative, we'd had a series of homicides that had happened in here. But historically, 61st and Peoria is a high crime area, especially with violent crime. Well, this is my neighborhood, Danielle. Thank Tamara Labach says their neighbors are under-resourced and over-policed. Labach says the cameras aren't the answer. No, I think what would be better is actually helping to better understand what the needs of the community actually are instead of assuming that policing is actually going to solve the problem. Labach's counselor, simply, Jamie Fowler, agrees. Uh, throwing more police or more uh, surveillance uh, into the community, that does not win the day. Fowler says the cameras are part of the process of progress. And we're setting the stage for deeper, more, more robust community engagement. And then not only that, uh, we're taking a look at some long-term st strategic plans and engagement. It really is a focus on us improving the lives of the citizens in, in Tulsa so that they're not being victimized by these people that are going around and whether they're, they're committing a violent act or they're just stealing property. Johnston says the cameras can help make cases against criminals stronger. We're focused on reducing crime, and if, if that's the lifestyle that you've chosen, um, we're going to be able to capture the choices you're making and be able to bring you to justice much sooner with this with this technology. And just like the flock system, Johnston says TPD is working on policies for these new cameras. This is a tool that will tie in with the real time information crime center, which is expected to go live later this year. In the update center, Danielle Ibarra, News Channel 8.